What, what is he pulling for us? All right, Inkling. Okay. The two people I play a lot against, or I play against a lot. English language hard sometimes when you just laugh for a minute straight. <laughs> uh, but here we are getting in the. <laughs> immediately starting off with the spot. Why he did not get hit? What the heck? <laughs> All right, Greer at the ledge here though against Mithra. Scary situation. Gonna get caught by these up tilts. The Nair follow up. Hangman extending the combo, getting the damage, going dash attack. All right, Greer able to roll out of that situation, getting the jab, getting the damage, getting a little bit of the ink. Yeah. Mithra's speed is ridiculous. The Inkling is able to contest it, but not well. Oh, I like the idea with the splatter shot there, but just decides not to dash up and grab. Maybe a misinput and just inputs grab and is going to get hit by a Pyra forward smash because of that. And Hangman has built himself such a lead right now. All right, getting the grab, though. Getting the up air follow up. Four sides out of there. The footstool. <laughs> Alright, the parry just decides to dash back. Very smart there. Just like, alright, I cannot dash in because this button is too safe. So I'm going to build some space between us. Alright, the side B. Very nice there. Just catching Greer. Oh no! <laughs> Not enough to kill yet though. Alright, throws out the, uh, the side B. Greer is able to block it. All right, just gets the grab, puts Greer on the platform, no tech, down air. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, gonna get punished there with the up smash from G-Wolf. Evening things up stock-wise, just gonna be a, a bit of a climb right now using the splatter shot just to keep some distance away. All right, gets the grab, down throw, try to get a forward tail follow-up, trying to catch hang uh, Hangman maybe drifting in a little bit, but doesn't get it. All right, able to avoid the, the sniper shot. Ooh, the double force, I All right, covering the ledge there with the blazing edge. All right, coming down with the down air. Oh, catching the dash away with the forward smash. That move is very big, deceptively at times. Pyra got the big flame stick, and it's definitely showing right now. All right, gets the berry, up smash. Going to take that stock gaming things right back up, though. All right, going to eat the jab. Ooh, I like uh, Hangman not able to get the extension, but I, I do like the, the follow-up there. All right, down throw, Nair, Nair. A fair. Yeah, that's going to be it, and Greer's able to steal that one. Yeah, he will look at the, the combo off stage working out very well for him. All right, Hangman, thinking this out. Where are we going, though? Hangman, a man with many knowledge of many stage. What will his choice be? We're going to go small battlefield as it is. All right, they're talking about the music. All right, yeah, we're going to get the Castlevania music. We're getting Aquarius. All right. All right, I'm here for it. All right, Hangman thinking about this. Oh, we're getting the Villager, the classic. Vintage. This is a vintage training Tuesday. <laughs> Face went into the wine cellar and pulled out his finest wine <laughs> today. All right, here we are getting right into it. All right, we're starting things off with Jeb, getting the ink, getting the damage. All right, Hangman getting the fair train, going the down air on the Miss Tech. You're just coming off the ledge with Nair. Gets a grab. Ooh, no Nair follow-up. All right, throwing the splat bomb there. Just pockets it. Yeah, Hangman, I think, was has been looking for that pocket. And just using the fares and these bears in order to keep the pressure coming on G-Wolf. All right, at the ledge now. Oh, catch the roller. Up smash. Not going to be enough to take it yet. Ooh. Just hits the Lloyd, activates on him. Look at these pellets and how they're interrupting Greer's dashes. Greer able to get through that time. Oh, Hangman threw out the Splat Bomb he had pocketed. All right, Nair. The fair follow-ups. All right. Ooh! Still off stage. 
Gets the Nair, keeping him off. Able to go, all right, goes high that time and able to get back on the stage, regain that jump and his feet and his footing. Yeah, Hangman with incredible off-stage pressure there. All right, nice tech, keeping himself alive. He breaks the balloons and put in the fall animation and Greer. Uh, G-Wolf is going to take advantage of that with the up smash. In the last game, yeah. All right, able to eat the trade. Dash attack, just catching Hangman, uh, setting up the, uh, the tree there. Going deep. Oh, went for the spike on that one. I mean, Villager's recovery, pretty good. All right. <laughs> Unnecessary bowling ball, but you know what? You just got to cover the option. All right, catching the jump with the up smash. I taught him that. All right, jabbing on the shield. Yeah, Greer tried to drop his shield because he was out of the jab. Uh, but the turner, he probably turned around and got hit. I'm not sure. All right, trying to catch the up air. Nice stall there with the Lloyd activation. Sending up the tree. Yo, we punched the tree <laughs> before it's even grown. All the wood? The best projectile in the game. No. <laughs> I love the wood, though. Ooh, nice drift there to go to the stage from Hangman. Able to avoid the back air. All right, the Nair on the roller. Just able to break out that situation. And Hangman is starting to bring this damage back. All right, a trade. Working on Hangman's benefit as it puts G-Wolf off stage. But the LP activation is going to create the stage spike. And Hangman was not ready for it. And G-Wolf is able to have a bit of a lead here. Gets the jab. All right, a trade. Yeah, G-Wolf can start eating trades now. Oh, I like the roller idea there, but uh, Hangman fell off the stage. All right. Going off stage. Oh, no, we live in. Yes, we are. Yeah, only got one of the balloons there. Oh, and the berry in the forward smash. That's going to take it. It's a very close game still, ladies and gentlemen. Jumping into the into the last hits of the jab, though. Yo, th that inkling just hit that Lloyd with his feet and just got away with it. <laughs> All right, coming down with the Nair. No tech, but able to still live here. All right, able to get back down to the ledge. Air dodges through the forward smash. Oh, my goodness. G-Wolf is one interaction away from winning this almost. Hangman is starting to hold back right now. All right, getting the damage. All right, jumping up Nair, able to hit Hangman. All right, the down tilt at the ledge. All right, Hangman with the stall, able to get back to the ledge. Yeah, by the time... Uh, G-Wolf is able to get the hit. He's too close to the ledge to really get anything off of it. Like, he's just going to re-grab. Yeah, definitely going to the stage. It also, like, creates the stage tech situation, too, for weaker moves. All right. Yeah, Hangman playing very passively right now, as he should be doing, just peppering with these projectiles, setting up the tree when he can. All right. Greer puts himself off stage is a bad position. All right, able to just beat out the roller there with the back air. Gets the grab. Forward throw going to put him off stage. Yes. All right, has the tree set up at the ledge right now. Just got to water can it. All right, tree fully uh, assembled. This also gives Hangman access to the axe in the neutral as well. All right, the tree threat is gone, but Hangman having the stage control right now. Just slowly... Peppering away, evening things up. Has also the splat bomb pocketed. The dash attack. G Wolf is finally able to get through this defense of Hangman. All right, at the ledge right now. Setting up the tree on the plat. You're going to use the tree as a trap. And the axe taking off that squid's head. We're going to a game number three situation. Yo, my man's just playing with sunglasses on in bracket, though. Yo, whose man's is this? I know whose man's this is. I know he ain't yours and he ain't mine, but... <laughs> My man looks calm and collected, though, after being peppered out for, like, a minute straight. Like, had, like, a ridiculous lead. And, uh, Hangman able to keep his composure just peppering. 
I was about to say he doesn't have one of those. <laughs> no, the, the, the one before that one. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> getting into game number three here. This is Smash. Uh, smaller stage. <laughs> Alright, just getting the jab, getting the damage going. This is a very good inkling stage. Yeah. But Hangman, you know, he's a master of the game. He understands what he can do on each stage. Alright, getting the damage. Ooh! Yeah, the mistake with the forward tilt there. I like it. Yeah, we see Hangman playing more of the slow game right off of the start here than that game number two. This slow play is what t led him to win that game number two. Got the pocket. Threw it right back. Yeah. <laughs> Dashes through that. Oh, my goodness. All right. Has it pocketed again? All right, G Wolf keeping him off stage, catching yeah, catching the high option with the forward smash there. We got ourselves an even game here, running up at the ledge down tilt and catching the jump off. All right, up air, up throw. I mean, up throw, up air. All right, fair, just putting Hangman right back off the little pellet though, just to clear the pressure. Up throw doesn't get the up air follow up though. Gets the roller though on the on the roll. We tried to catch an aggressive option there from Hangman. He just wisely set up the Lloyd and just drifted back to the ledge. All right, the Nair. Putting Hangman right back off. Ooh, just catching the run there with the forward smash. Screw with these callouts. Yeah, he's been calling out Hangman pretty hard. Uh, some of them aren't working, but, you know, he's gotten himself a lead here and has already lapped Hangman in percent. Oh, that was not a good bowling ball. The up smash is not going to be enough to kill quite yet. Dangerous position for Hangman. G-Wolf going deep there, threatening that back air space. All right. Got the splat bomb, just throws it right back, trying to catch him like he did earlier. Back throw, just putting Hangman off stage. What's the threatening situation here? All right, he's just gonna let him back on. And Hangman playing the more patient game right now. The bowling ball like extended the back air. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Off stage, the bowling ball able to get around it, to get up attack, punishing another bowling ball. And the axe just going to clear that. But Hangman at 162%, not healthy, but playing the slow patient game right now. Which is a very scary situation. Indeed. <laughs> the back throw, and that's going to take it for G Wolf over Hangman. In a very close game three there. Oh boy. All right. But, yo, what we got Fridays though, Justin? What do we got? Yeah. Show the people already. There it is. Aeon Ultimate. Every Friday, singles and doubles. That's what we're training for. Training for that every week. Our big weekly. So, you know, tune in. Or if you're from the area, come on through. And then today we got Training Tuesday, singles only. It's a training bracket, $5 just to get in here at the Metagaming. You can follow the link there if you're interested in all the information. And then we got Meta Fight Night every Saturday at Super Smash Bros. Singles, Doubles, and Squad Strike. And then on top of that, we got the FGC coming through, Tekken 7 being, of course, the most played game here on Long Island. However, Strive, obviously, is always around. Uh, King of Fighters set up in the corner with me crying. Um, and a whole bunch of Kasoge so, and Street Fighter 2. Uh, not Street Fighter 2, but also Street Fighter. Uh, so come through for that. And then we got our big regional coming up August 14th. Spots are limited. We're already almost halfway to the cap. So register if you uh, if you can. 
Uh, that's on August 14th. A thousand dollar pot bonus squad strike doubles and an exhibition crew battle, uh, as well as singles. And then everything you see today is brought to you by Gen Game, as it always is coming out of the meta gaming here. So if you like what you see, drop a follow, drop a subscription, drop a Twitch Prime if you can, or go to YouTube, and also just you know subscribe if you want to catch the vods as well. So. But we're going to take a short break. We'll be back with some more Training Tuesday. <laughs> 